A new medical mystery affecting U.S. diplomatic workers, this time in China, is deepening. The U.S. Embassy in Beijing is warning Americans there to watch out for unexplained illnesses. Several workers at U.S. consulates in China have been evacuated after complaining of hearing odd sounds, then becoming ill. CBS News Radio's Steve Dorsey was the first to report on a similar group of ailments in Cuba. He's outside the Chinese embassy in Washington. Steve, good morning. Good morning. Overnight in another health alert, the U.S. Embassy in China urged Americans with any unexplained physical symptoms to get medical help. Amid new concerns, this mysterious case could be worse than first reported. Diplomatic Security Officer Mark Lenzi is one of the latest Americans evacuated from the U.S. consulate in Guangzhou, China. He's back in the U.S. for treatment after he says he was injured after hearing odd sounds. In a statement to CBS News, he says the ordeal is stressful for my family. Obviously, the State Department is concerned about the health and safety of its uh, diplomats, so they're trying to work through it. In a similar case last year, 24 government employees and spouses at the U.S. Embassy in Cuba complained of headaches, ear pain, sleep impairment, and cognitive problems after saying they also heard strange sounds. The U.S. retaliated by expelling Cuban diplomats. On Tuesday, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo set up a medical task force to seek answers to the mysterious ailments. He addressed Congress last month after the latest case in China was first reported. Uh, we have medical teams that are moving to be on the ground there. We are, we are working to figure out what took place. We've asked the Chinese for their assistance in doing that. But on Thursday, a Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson said China conducted a thorough investigation and found nothing. David Rank is the former deputy chief of mission at the U.S. Embassy to China. Implication or, or evidence that this was a state organized activity would have a much bigger impact on, on our relations. Mark Lenzi tells me he'll soon begin treatment at the University of Pennsylvania. He's also calling on several top State Department officials to resign, accusing them of a cover up. Alex. Steve, thank you.